hello ladies welcome back to my channel so in today's video i will be telling you or sharing with you something that i feel that lots of foreign ladies are taking for granted so i do not want you to see this as like trying to point fingers at you no it's just correct that notion i do not really know how this happens there in overseas when it comes to marriage but ladies please listen closely when it comes to dating relationship and marriage i've always been that person who tells women be independent don't be so dependent on your man because no man wants a woman to be solely dependent on him but it's a different story that i am talking about today yes i do not want you to be so dependent you need to spend your own money if it is an occasion you can buy him gifts like you could do anything when it comes to marriage listen to this to the word marriage when it comes to marriage this is where women draw the line and i will tell you the reason for this treasure please say hello say hello, hello. Say hello people. Hello people. So when it comes to marriage, this is where you draw the line of being independent. In the African culture, a man takes responsibility. I don't know, I won't say African culture. In the Nigerian culture, or in the Nigeria that I know, the man takes responsibility for the wedding now this is not to say that if you're a woman you are very well to do and your husband is not that well to do that you cannot help out with some certain things but it's a different story altogether if you need to help out you need to help out in the things that won't even show like i remember during my time i didn't want to be seen as someone who's like all dependent, who didn't try to do anything. So what I did was, there was something I took specifically for myself. I told my husband, like, honey, do not worry. I want to cater for this, let me do this. And it was nothing big. Probably the caterer or the baker, one of them, if I remember clearly. So this is just my own contribution because it is my wedding but in the nigerian setting that i know and even in the nigerian Igbo setting that i know a marriage is solely executed by the man be the traditional wedding be the white wedding okay or even the bride price he is the one who should take responsibility lots of women telling me i'm coming to nigeria to marry my man we're gonna get married yes i advised and i suggested you go over to see your man to know exactly he is as he claims to be but it is a very bad idea to go marry him the man takes full responsibility for the marriage now marriage to nigerians is seen as a passage i'll call it a passage which says yes now i'm a man if you understand it's just in my own word i'm trying to tell you what marriage means to a nigerian man it means yes now i'm a man because you are going to take care of your home, you're going to take care of your wife, you're going to take care of your kids. And what it means is that you are no longer under the care of your parents or any other person for that matter. The first sign that a Nigerian man is about to get married is actually him leaving his home, going out, walking, getting his own apartment, getting it ready and now they are ready for marriage so that i do not understand when a woman says he's going to get married and then uh, she's going to pay for the wedding expenses see let me correct you it is a very bad thing for a woman to pay for a wedding if she's married a nigerian man 
the first thing is, it's a let down. It's a look down. It's a fall down. It's an everything down. Seriously, my ladies, like, I don't know how I can make you understand it is wrong in our culture to pay for your wedding. We have seen lots of rich people in Nigeria who maybe marry poor men, pay for their weddings, and the person is like, the man will not be seen as the man is supposed to be. He's laughed over. He's laughed over. And number two, the man will not take the marriage seriously. Even himself, he will not take the marriage seriously because he knows like it's not him who married you. You married him. It is a thing for a man to marry you. I don't care the kind of wedding that he is able to afford. That is why you will see people get married in Nigeria. Some will have high class wedding. Some will have middle class wedding. Some will have low class wedding. It's just the pocket of the man that matters the wedding that you have. And people who are in love and are very willing to marry do not care about societal wedding. Do not care about the high class nor middle class. They just do a low class wedding. But the man is the one marrying you. Don't ever marry a man. Okay, let me rephrase it. Don't ever marry a Nigerian man. You can marry a man of your nationality. You can marry a man from where you are. If it is your belief, it is, if it is your culture, if it is your lifestyle, but it is not our culture. It is not our lifestyle. It is a letdown. It is, in fact, if you should say this to the elders, they'll be like, abomination, allo, allo, if you watch Nigerian movies. It means sacrilege. You have done something that is horrible. If they hear that you married a man, that's just it, my ladies. I don't know any way to paint what I am actually telling you now. But what I'm telling you is that don't ever, ladies, please, don't ever marry a Nigerian man. If you're very rich, and he's not so very rich. Keep your riches. Let him struggle. Find money. Marry you with the cheapest wedding that he can afford. It is more honorable. Now, when you are married, please, you see all those money that you have, that you wanted to use to make a wedding for yourself. You can now bring it out and help him. Bring it out. Help yourselves. You're now married. You're one. You need to be together. Now help him. If he is that, you know, low as regards his income until he gets up to his feet. Help him with the money. But don't, don't, don't. Pay for your wedding. Don't ever give him money to plan your wedding. Don't. Please. I'm begging you, ladies. If you were dating a Nigerian man and you people are about to get married, please watch this video. Watch it. It will lead you. Whatever it is, that will make you bring out your money and plan your wedding. Rebuke it. Rebuke it and wait for him to marry you. If you like, give him the money. I really do not care. If you like, open up an account for him. Give him whatever it is. I don't care. But don't you ever, my ladies, pay for your wedding or give him money. 
to plan your wedding. That's assuming he doesn't have money. Let him become a man. Let him get to that right passage that every Nigerian man must pass, which is getting to the stage where you get married. It is a stage. He needs to know. It is a stage and he will know that it is time for responsibilities. How else is he supposed to know that he's about to embark on a mission? A marriage is a mission. He needs to know. You know, in Nigeria, when men finish weddings, they cry of money. Not like physical crying, but anywhere they go, whatever they do, they complain. I don't have money. Money is finished. Money. Colors, I don't have money. Let's just wait for next hour. And that is, yes, that is the man that has just done a marriage. And people know. People know in Nigeria that when people get married, they become broke. Because for one, Nigerian weddings are expensive. Even, those, even the, the cheapest wedding you can afford is expensive. So to him, he's going to use a lot of money. That's it. There are no two ways to talk about it. If he doesn't have the money to do even the cheapest wedding, wait for him. Let him have the money. Let him have the money. He's not right for marriage yet. Or else, if you choose to embark on the journey of getting married to him, know that you have embarked on a journey of no return because you will continually be the one to spend, sponsor, and carry that marriage. And that's all I have to say to you. And at the end of the day, he may not even value you because he will see you as cheap, simple, or easy because you married him when culturally it should be the other way around so my ladies this is all i have for you i'm going to work i do not have time anymore so without further ado to have a lovely day to have a happy day stay happy stay blessed and bye bye, -bye.